weeks from today, thousands of cyclists will take part in the Pan Mass Challenge. After a reimagined ride in 2020, riders in this year's PMC are back together, albeit with some changes. In this week's For Your Community, Lisa Hughes talks with PMC founder and CEO Billy Starr. We have about 6,200 fundraisers, about 4,600 live on the weekend with another 1,600 reimagining somewhere around the world. Um, we felt good enough to announce a $52 million goal, which would be at least $2 million above what we achieved last year. And we'll have approximately 2,000 volunteers in support of that live ride experience. So, you know, it feels good. It feels good to be semi back in the saddle. I'm just curious how you were able to open registration the way you always do in January of this year with so many unknowns. We had to plan for an event that we could safely run. At run. After all, we benefit a healthcare provider, Dana-Farber, and we have to be responsible. So we knew that we could do the ride. Uh, I, like so many others, I rode right through the pandemic, which is about the safest thing you could do. And, um, you know, so we planned on the ride but having to eliminate all of our hub sites, the startings, the endings, the parties, the transportations, the beer, you know, it was a lot to take out of the party while leaving the ride and the mission to the center of what we felt we could achieve. Let's talk about the mission a little bit, because I think what is so extraordinary about the Pan Mass Challenge is that every penny of every rider raised dollar goes to Dana-Farber Cancer Institute. And people connect with that mission in such a personal way. I have to think that you are hearing from riders personally who are saying that even with the limitations, they are just so grateful to be back in the fold planning for an actual ride and fundraising for this year's PMC. The motivation of the community the opportunity to speak to people who might be riding who have dealt with cancer personally is extremely motivating. And to realize that for any of us who actually get to ride in this event, that's a blessing of its own kind. So, yes, uh, I, but I think people understand uh, part of our operational challenge was to spread people out. And we really have successfully done this on 12 different routes. Uh, typically, 70% of everybody would be going to Provincetown. And we de-densified that our biggest hub sites, Sturbridge and Provincetown, are sitting there with 1,000 people and 1,500 respectively. Typically, Sturbridge would have 3,500 and Provincetown would have 5,500. Mm -hmm. So we found the way to move people around and they'll get different experiences, but they'll get community. What did the reimagined ride teach you about the PMC riders as, as a body? To raise $50 million in a reimagined non-event year is simply remarkable. If you were looking in the broader context of the country, I won't even go to the world, event programming either went off 50 to 70 percent or didn't exist at all. The PMC went off 20% and last year represented that $50 million represented 64% of the Jimmy Fund's annual revenue. So, you know, there's a lot riding on us. We're fond of that statement. We accept the responsibility. We're back. You're back, Lisa. And, um, you know, together we'll do $52 million or more. Both Lisa and David Wade are riding the Pan Mass Challenge on August 7th and August 8th. To learn more about the PMC or to donate, go to pmc.org. WBZ is a proud partner of the Pan Mass Challenge. <laughs>